yabancı abi. From, from. Amerika. Amerika. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love you, Amerika. Gel bakalım sen. <gülüyor> We're Gokçe and Steve. After spending the past few months quarantining in Turkey, we felt it was time to explore some hidden gems on Turkey's northern Aegean coast. First, we're going to start with a non-traditional Turkish breakfast here at the base of the Ida Mountains. Today for breakfast, we are going to have gözleme. It's very similar to quesadilla. We actually have it with cheese, potatoes, eggplants, and some herbs in it. And you can be more adventurous and mix them all. And we also have very traditional style iron cups, which is the yogurt drink here in Turkey. Gözleme güzel, manzara güzel, hepsini güzel. Hepsini güzel. After a delicious Gözleme breakfast, it was time to take in the beautiful architecture and scenery of Adetepe and other Kazdalara villages. Welcome to Adetepe. It is a mountain village up in the hills behind Edremit Balakesar. It has a very similar vibe to Alicete and Çeşme uh, outside of Izmir. Do you think they have enough ice cream flavors? This is stretching up into a tree. So this has become one of the more popular villages here in the Edremit area. So if you're coming to visit like Altınluk or Asos, You'll come and stay up here too a lot of the times. It's a very enjoyable, very peaceful, shaded here, and a lot of great restaurants and ice cream shops around here. The one cool thing about Turkey is there's much more fruity flavors here than there is like in American ice cream. Highly recommend it, trying it when you're in Turkey. Every time I get near the sheep, they poop. I don't know if it's a bad sign or... <laughs> so a lot of these old buildings have been restored. It's less of a traditional Turkish village nowadays and more of like a vacation spot and there is little like boutique hotels and everything around here. They've retained a lot of the architecture of course, but it's definitely got a remake since its original village lifestyle. Ne yapıyorsunuz? Daha kiki. Daha kiki. Mountain herbs. Nere memleket? New York Dano. Amerika. Amerika Dano. Şey yolu Türkiye. Türkiye'yi seviyor musun? Evet, kesinlikle. Çok seviyorum. <laughs> So right next to Adetepe also is Zeus's temple, the Greek Zeus. god Zeus. You could rent a ATV and go through here through the Kazdalara mountains. And horseback riding. Typical Greek temple fashion, up on a hill, overlooking water. And I had no idea this even existed over here. Climbing up here. It's not exactly legitimate steps. Oh, check that out. It was a lot of work coming here, but it's so worth it. The scenery is actually absolutely insane from here. If you want to visit Asos, definitely stop by Adotepe and here at Zeus Temple. Sceneries are breathtaking. It's really cool, actually. I mean, it's not like ancient columns or anything like that, but the scenery, you know, the Greeks really knew where to put their temples, huh? We have an uninvited guest right here. If you want to learn about the history of Turkmen villages specifically, you can even visit Turkey's first ever village museum. This is the second private museum in Turkish history and the first village museum in Turkish history. 60% of everything here were donated by people who live in that era. This is very important for Shaman Turks. Who They're actually tracing their ancestry back, possibly to tie into Native Americans who immigrated all the way to the United States. And they also had dream catchers in there, which were very similar to what I learned in school in New York about Native American culture. So I think I'm going to have to hop on over them. Pardon. Good to see you, Dashla. Kaz Dalara has the second highest oxygen content in the world after the Alp Mountains, and plenty of natural beauty like the waterfall of Hasan Baoldu. You can also learn about Hasan's story, as well as the other famous story of the mountains, Sarakiz, while you're there. After the mountain villages, it was time to enjoy Turkey's beautiful seaside at a very unique spot, the foot of the ancient city of Asos. It's a little over 400 kilometers away from Istanbul, and you can take a bus or the drive is a little over five hours. So we came to Asos ancient port area. There are so many really nice beach clubs lined next to each other. We're going to try out one of them today. Turks love their beach club and I love my beach club. We're in Hava Çok Sıcak. Yani giyesiler diş terecim. Ondan sonra denizde gidelim.
One of the really great things about being here in Asos Antique Liman or Antique Port is that directly behind us right now is the Greek island of Mytilene or Lesbos. And directly above us on the hill is the ancient city of Asos where you can see the amphitheater and the temple of Athena. The scenery is amazing. The history is amazing. Benje, you have to come here if you're visiting Turkey. If you're not, you're missing out big time. Now, we're gonna head up to the hill and check out the ancient city of Assos where Aristotle himself actually came and visited and lived here thousands of years ago. This pathway is actually taking us to the gate of ancient ruins. We like seeing all these little art shops in the cellars and love talking to them. And I always wind up buying something little. I decided to get a museum card for a whole year. Normally this is 25 liras to get in, which is actually very reasonable. Most uh, museums in Turkey now are 50 liras or more. We have been to a lot of so far. They essentially look very familiar. I just like this one especially more because I am from this region. One of the first academies in the entire world was built here in this beautiful landscape. If you ever come here, definitely come visit around the sunset time. The views from here is much more beautiful. 100%. And there's probably like 20 people here. It's not crowded at all. Might also have to do with COVID, but... Ready to go? <laughs> Somehow, Asos has two-way traffic when you can barely fit one car at a time through the narrow streets of the old city. But there is a central auto park located right above the beach clubs. Auto parking! Auto parking here! Park yeah. Park Park Park Park Park Park Park Park Park Park From, from... America. America. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love you, America. Yes, what I'm saying. Tamam. Geliyor to start. Unlatched it. He's like, you should get a tent and stay here with me. <laughs> My new best friend in Turkey. And right behind Gökçe now is, of course, the port and the agency and a Greek island. It looks amazing from this very corner and the sunset is gorgeous and it's just making me so happy to be here. We are here at Asos Beram Hotel Restaurant. So we're gonna enjoy a beautiful dinner right with some boats and some beautiful scenery behind us. It is very indeed a little bit of everything, a little, little in the middle, rock the Pollock kind of night, and we're going to enjoy it very, very much. The Asos restaurants are attached to beautiful boutique hotels overlooking the water and all serve delicious seafood. And by that, you mean... So hot! I can't... We got the ice cream. This area is actually very small, so there's not much to explore. We're just gonna enjoy our ice cream and just continue walking. It was a great day. I finally got to show Steve Asos and Mountain Villages today. Got to explore a whole lot in the Gulf of Adramit. Lots to learn the Turkmen culture, as well as see the ancient city of Asos. And our tour of Balakester does not stop here. There is so much more beauty to see in the southern part of Balakester as well. See you on the next one. İyi geceler. Geliyor sorun falan. Aynen geliriz ya. Haydi görüşürüz.